Okay, so four and one, man, oh man. I'll be right back. Okay. Big Wern MD. I gotta say, I'm not gonna have any land issues this game. The cheeky house mouse. Okay. Am I really gonna use an Archon's Glory to take out his house mouse? I mean, I, I guess. I'm really curious to what he's at. he has. That's a good one. <laughs> so there's been some really high quality magic going on. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, and by by when I say that I mean not really. Like I've literally hit him with the slumbering keep guard four times. He played Cheeky House Mouse on turn two. I glass casted it, and this is where we're at right now. Mm -hmm. He's only, he's literally only played three spells. I'm kind of nervous because he's got a full grip. I got four cards. Okay, not a, uh -oh. okay, not a, cl close enough. <laughs> the fact that he's just played a land every turn makes me think that he kept a, let's just takes flight. Did I tell you about this Japanese band I've been listening to a little bit lately? No. It's a Japanese psychedelic rock band. They're not around anymore. They broke up like last year. Mm -hmm. well, they're called uh, Kikagaku Moyo. There's Pretty the Archon's Glory. Pretty interesting music. You should check it out. Okay. I know you're not really a rock, like a, like a mm -hmm. traditional rock guy, but I mean, it's Japanese. You know? So, what do you think I do here? Do I grasp a fate, his courier, and just let the princess takes flight do its thing? What's the it gonna do? Uh, well, it's gonna bring the uh, guy back, because I feel like he's he might bargain it away, but he's already used a bargain to get rid of the courier's, or courier's doohickey. I think I get it. Might as well. Get rid of the life linker. People like think they're wrong. Kind of see the point of attacking. <clears throat> oh, it flies. I forgot about that. <laughs> Let's 
got it. He's got the tricks. Into the cornfield with you. I mean, I guess I would probably just go night, night, <laughs> or the trough. Well, he's got the Princess Takes Flight, so he's gonna exile something. Yeah, I guess, but what's holding up the Archon gonna do? Yeah. He's gonna exile something, might as well get some bodies on the pool. He, oh, just, well, he just got a better version of my deck. Oh, that's that's fine, though, because now we can't cast them both in one turn. like the better version of my deck. Enchantments in play? I have a grass with fate. No, and I have the wood. I got grass with fate, his. Plus two, plus two, and lifelink. Lifelink and flying. If I bargain it, so I. Like that's the thing. Like that play confused me because he could have just gone for it. What's under the glass casket? Uh, raging battle mouse. I don't. Again, like I'm not totally sure why he's not. Like he's got the power to just come over and kill me, but he's choosing not to. Because the princess takes flight, it gives it flying too. Oh, yeah. Okay. I guess yeah. you can arc on the war and blow him out. I don't think it's gonna be a blowout. I think he knows I have it. Bar yeah, target the uh, the well, here, whatever. No, that's oh maybe that's right. Because I was gonna say I could I could power this guy up and pump him. Um, but he's only gonna get plus two plus two, so it'll be a five, and this will be four. Wait. So no, I I do need to do it. I no, it's it's this. I activate him first because I want him to get the a bigger bonus. Okay, so now we Archon's glory with bargain, targeting him, sacrificing. Yeah, I like that play too. Because now I gain six life. Fair enough. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Yeah, I am. 
I mean, that one's less less annoying, but it's kind of like, okay, man, like you got me. He's got it again. You can just do it. Taking you to church. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I'm dead. Well, maybe I'm not dead, but You're I'm, an ape. <laughs> I'm very close to being dead. Well, he's got five in the air. Four in the air. Like, like I said, I. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, like I said, I don't, I don't totally understand. He drew that after he did that. Like again, I, I don't understand his play there because he had me dead at multiple oh. times. I think he was just showing up. Maybe it's just, that's a deck that it's kind of like you got lucky that it synergized like that because I had so many. Like, if he knew that I scryed three lands to the bottom, it's kind of like I don't know. I don't know at all. That was just pretty dumb. He had very like when I said when I drafted this deck, it felt almost like I was in a quick draft. Because I was getting all these white cards. Like, I got... I, nobody at the table was drafting white, apparently. I mean, I'm 4-2, and two, so I'm already... I'm already in the positives. Can't keep that. Can keep that. I guess I keep... Oof. Do I even keep the... Do I keep the forest? All right, I put the forest back, I mean, because I can't cast the Grasp of Fate if I keep the Crystal Grotto, and I want to keep the Crystal Grotto. Let's just do this. Yeah. Uh, want some action. I've got the Coop Dog. I've got enough removal as it is. Well, seems like it should have gone. It feels like people aren't taking that, and I feel like that card's just really good. I mean, it's a ramp. Tough cookie. <laughs> They're just getting a grasp of fame. Yeah, I kind of want that. Especially because I'm going to... I don't know what he's going to do, but I'm probably going to coop up and decided knight him. Cooped up. Decided not my own guy. We'll see what happens. Unless he kills it somehow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, had a guy that used Tough Cookie and he animated the food and he attacked for like, I think it was like 15 damage in turn 4. I don't think he has a land. Nice. Well, Got it. Yeah. Got there. I don't think that's the play you make. I don't think you main phase quick study on off of your lands if you uh, have a better option. I did not realize this effect was permanent. <laughs> I don't know, do I cooped up? I guess we just start with the side of night and see what I get. Reindeer is not what I want. Yeah, you can still use it as a land. Yeah, but I can exile it then. Yeah, I guess. This is the thing. Feels bad. Look at this guy, he's on four colors. Oh, I guess I knew that when he searched for it, but yeah.
I kind of want to, like, return the Grasp of Fate to my hand and then get his knights. Yeah. Oh, no, that only gets one permanent. I'm thinking of, like, something different, not Grasp of Fate. So I gotta play the Besotted Knight, and then the turn after. Okay. So the play is to play the Besotted Knight, and then the next turn, return it with the Stockpiling Celebrant, and then use the Royal Roll again. I guess. <laughs> I have two enchantments, I'm one mana short. So if I give it... So I can take for nine. No, I control three enchantments, right? Do you? Yeah, I control the Cooped Up, the Royal Roll, and the Grasp of Fate. Yeah, there you go. Uh, it sounds like 12 to me. Yeah, math is hard. <laughs> it's finally, finally the the match where the that the knight is actually doing what he's supposed to do. <laughs> Five and two, so it's uh, I'm good. Valkyrus, Valkyrus. Oh my god, <laughs> this is this is, all right. this is great. I mean, it's all right. yeah. yeah, slumbering keep guard is is finally. Finally coming into his glory. We finally have the deck where he works. <laughs> as long as I play creatures. Yeah. Ooh, that's not, that's not a good one. I would still play your lookout. I think because, I mean, it's, it's gonna, he's going to kill it. But, I mean, well, no, he's I... got to kill it. Or else you're going to draw a lot of damage. I think I coop up, Greta. Yeah, now you do. <laughs> I mean, it cost you four life to play that the creature first. Oh well. Like, because he still would have done the same thing. Yeah, it would have. It would have yeah. mattered. And he, unless he has like some other food synergies, he's only got one card. I had to say something about food synergies. <laughs> I would say it's like I can play the courtier, but he's got the tracker. Um, I think the courtier still might be the right, or the, the coffee of clothier might be the right one, because I'm going to scry anyway. And I don't have I mean... the. I mean, I, you can put the reindeer in play, uh, and cause, and then you start doing stuff. Like, yeah, that's true. I mean, you've got the reindeer, you might as well use it. Got to break the spell. If he ends up free, <laughs> freeing her. Well, that sounds like a trick. Yeah, I was like, do I... I, it doesn't, he can't power it up as a, as a fast effect. Minstrosity. Mm. 
That's a good job, huh? Yeah, I like that. I really want to land, but I'm not hurting. Let me just get in there. He didn't draw a card. It's a pretty good card. I guess we're saving Break the Seal. Reindeer. That's not good. Is genealogists. <laughs> it's gonna fell light to bring a creature back. He's got two food. I gotta remember that too. You just gotta exile Greta. Yeah, my next turn is gonna be this. Play the Archon. I think I think you exile Greta because then you can still block with the Keep Guard and pump it to kill the thing if he attacks you. Okay. I mean, if he's got tricks, he's got tricks. Yeah. <laughs> I can also break the hopeless. <coughs> well, I don't want to do that, actually. Say so pump before blocking. Yeah, if he's got the removal spell, he's got the removal spell. <laughs> okay. 
Can not cast you. Do I get another flyer? It seems kind of risky. I wouldn't. No. What is that? Seven mana spell? Dude? Virtual Persistence. It's the one that gets creatures out of his graveyard. Oh, That's yeah. why, like, I'm holding break the spell. Because he's got... Well, he's got the genealogist, and he's and I've got a cur I've got guys. Okay, that's, that's a lot of worse things that could have happened. It's still pretty bad. I mean, yeah, I mean, double block. I guess he only kills one of them. <coughs> Yay, start doing stuff. I said I, I want him to rip a land and then just play that. Now I want I say I want to see him attack, but I don't think it's gonna happen. There's the scoop. What does it matter? All your guys fly, you've got a level. I know, right? <laughs> it's like that's funny, it's like I, I destroyed that, but it didn't even matter. No, it didn't. He was just playing it. He was just showing it up. I got this cool guy. Look at me. Yeah. We're in gold. Well, I say we're only in gold though, but no, we're only in platinum. Is that it? We got one left, I think. Six and two, the full deck. Yeah. Let's see how this goes. The final, the final battle. How's your Baldur's Gate been? I haven't played since we last talked. Oh jeez, come on. I've I've worked what? the last five days. I don't know why. I don't know why you're bouncing off the game. I don't know. We'll we'll get back to it. I wanted to record some magic footage today. It's my fourth draft of the day, and this is probably well. We'll see. And then it's funny. And then I go to my go to my editing, and I find that I have a draft from last week that I haven't edited. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> this seems no. fine. Yeah, it's a keep. Archon's glory and curse curse courtier seems uh, pretty exceptional. <coughs> Break the spell seems even better. Mm -hmm. well. Is he gonna just power it up and it get me for six? <coughs> or Curse of the Weird Box, that seems fine too. Mm -hmm. What does break the spell do? Uh, destroy an enchantment if it's a token, or if it's, if it's a token, I draw a card. Yeah. So I can break his monster. I think I'm just gonna coop him up. Yeah. <coughs> like he can still animate, but that's a lot less of a problem. If he's mm. if he's if that's his turn, if he's literally just gonna animate an attack. Him and I control, right? Yeah. yeah. He's so confused. <laughs> Dang. Power play.
play the four four. Yeah, that one. The only one I can play. Well, I, I've been I've been saying I don't like that card because it just hasn't been doing it for me, and like I I have one I'm not playing it. Play the four four. Yeah, that one. Yeah. I thought I was gonna eat the food there. Food's gonna start eating you. I think that's what's gonna happen. Another guilt spell? Oh my god. I know, this guy's this guy's deck is is totally insane. This is this is kind of it. I mean, he's destroyed both of my bombs. Yeah. Wah, wah. Six and three. Oh, I don't know. He could he could still mess this up. Sure. He will. Okay. Whatever, whatever. You were, you were never gonna win this one once he got to that many man. Oh my god. I I like that where it's like I'm just gonna see what he's got before playing my gruff triplets. I have a draft that I like every every game that I played, the gruff triplets. That was the one that I went six and three earlier today. And spoilers is if you haven't watched that or it's not even not edited but i out of the six games that i played five of them i played gruff triplets and i just won like yeah that card is just dumb and there was a game where i made a tr i used i had the monstrous uh rage or whatever where i powered it up so it was a a six power creature and it traded so my other two got uh like six counters on them and it's like i've got 18 points of trample coming at you like, with, like, you just don't have enough toughness to live. So, yeah. So that's that. What? What? So that wasn't a horrible... Draft again? Ah, eh, we'll see. Okay, so that's six and three. Look at that loot you got. I know, it paid for the next draft. So, that was that draft. <laughs> well, <laughs> with that, I will get going. We will stop recording and... If you enjoyed it, like, subscribe. You don't have to, though.